While using SOLIDWORKS, you will need to know what the keys and mouse buttons will do. The main button you will use all the time is the left mouse button. This is used to select tools, entities, move parts, and a lot more. The right mouse button is used mostly to open up a pop-up window that will give you a lot of options and tools you can use. You can also use the right mouse button to use the mouse gestures. Right-clicking and sliding in that direction will open up the tool you need. The middle mouse wheel can be clicked or scrolled. When it is clicked, you can move the model around. In SOLIDWORKS, it will rotate the model. When you combine this with Shift, Control, and Alt, you can pan, zoom in, and out, and more. Scrolling the middle mouse wheel will zoom in and out of your model. It will zoom in or out towards your mouse cursor. So if you want to zoom into a part or entity, move your mouse over that and zoom in. It is important to know that the mouse scroll directions are opposite to AutoCAD or Inventor. However, you should get used to it quickly. Think about it as pushing yourself away to zoom out or pulling yourself in to zoom in. The escape key is used to close a tool or finish something. For example, after making a line, click escape and the line tool will close. The enter key can be used to submit a command, like typing in a dimension and submitting it by clicking enter. Also, if you are not using any tool, you can click enter and the last tool you used will reopen. The shift key can be used to select multiple entities to add a relation in a sketch, or it can be used to select multiple objects in an assembly. You can use the control key to select multiple objects just like the shift key. You can also use it to add a copy of a part. If you hold the control key and click and drag a part, you will create a copy of that part. This is the same for reference geometry parts such as planes. Clicking the spacebar will pop up a view menu, where you can change your view or reorientate your views. The delete button is used for deleting items. You can also use the control and tab keys to scroll to another part that is open in SOLIDWORKS. These are the controls you will need to know to get started with SOLIDWORKS. If you didn't understand everything I was saying, do not worry, as I will explain it in the videos to come.